So today I am at Epic Exposure Studios in North Bend, Washington, and I'm going to be photographing my 2018 Lotus Favora inside the studio. Studios owned by Bruce McCallum. You'll get a chance to meet Bruce at the end of the video, and I'll be working with automotive photographer Alex Johnson, and together we're going to be producing some great content, uh, some great photographs of the car. Alex and Bruce put this together for a group, a car club that I'm involved in called Avance. And Avance is based out of Seattle and Portland. And when I heard about <clears throat> them offering the studio time for just in an incredible bargain, I was definitely in. I signed up immediately and I drove up today to shoot the car. Alex is going to do most of the heavy lifting. I'm just going to be kind of in the background, just grabbing a few shots here and there. I want Alex to do most of the work that he put this on. Can't wait to see what he does. I'll share. Uh, we'll talk to more with Alex at the end of the video as well. So let's get this car in the studio and get it on the turntable and get started. In automotive photography inside a studio, lighting is everything. And having the car on a turntable allows the photographer to manipulate the angle and having the Chimera softbox above it to be able to be adjusted uh, allows for exact placement. And the photographer, Alex, can just dial that in until he gets the exact looks that he wants. Now that Camara softbox is 15 foot long, five feet wide, and it uses continuous lights. This gives Alex a big advantage because what he sees is what he gets and he can dial in the exact angle, the exact distance that he wants from the car in order to get exact look that he wants in the photograph. For lens choices in automotive photography, a lot of automotive photographers are going to be using primes. They'll be using 50 millimeter, 85, even 135 millimeter lenses that are primes because they, they really, really like the look of those prime lenses. I use telephoto lenses uh, pretty much exclusively, and my favorite is like a 70 to 200. But inside a studio, you simply don't have the room to get that far away from the car. So uh, 24 to 105, 24 to 70 is a much more usable focal length in order to capture the car. Your aperture is gonna vary depending on the look of, that you're going for. So for a three quarter shot from the front to the back, you're gonna be using F8, F11. Whereas if you're shooting the side of the car, there's no need for that. You can even shoot at F4 or F2.8 if you so desire. And the big thing is even in the studio, you're gonna to have to use a tripod because even though that light looks really bright, exposures are gonna be upwards of one to five seconds in order to keep that ISO as low as possible. So now we're gonna, we're gonna fire up a, f a fog machine and we'll put a little bit of smoke out, turn the headlights on and get a nice uh, highlight with the, sm the, the headlight beams coming through the smoke. So we gotta get it, uh, the smoke machine just fired up and get warmed up and then turn the headlights on and get a couple more shots. It's gonna be awesome. So using a, uh, just a battery powered weed leaf blower to just uh, move that smoke around so you get those nice, see those nice beams. Hopefully it's not, it's probably overexposing it too bad. Let me move it around here to the side. I think it'll work better. There we go. That's gonna be a better shot. You guys can see what it's, what it's looking like. It looks pretty cool. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> there you go. 
Oh, that looks great. That looks awesome. That looks good. So before I knew it, the one hour was up and it was time to get my car out and the next car in. I wanted to take a quick minute to talk to Bruce about his studio and then talk to Alex about his photography. So this is Bruce McCallum and he owns Epic Exposure Studios. And where are we at? North? North Bend, Washington. North Bend, Washington. And I just uh, had the opportunity to uh, get my, my Avora 400 photographed inside and we'll be talking to Alex Johnson who's the photographer that did most of the heavy lifting. I just kind of watched and pushed a button once in a while but I wanted to give Bruce a chance to talk about his studio here because it's it's amazing. It is a great place to shoot if you're into automotive or any kind of photography. He's got a lot of setup here so what, what all you have the ability to do here Bruce? Well so primarily the studio was designed to shoot exotic automobiles so the automobile comes in, it's placed on a 25 foot turntable. We have an overhead continuous lighting uh, light box on top of it. We can use light sticks, we have strobes. Um, and, you know, it's in the case of my own business, this is about customer service. Uh, the customer comes in, we shoot the car, it gets shot to a 65 inch screen, we collaborate on what the customer likes. And then uh, on the rental side of the fence, the studio is for rent and I have all kinds of photographers come out that are interested in photography or maybe they want to elevate their game or maybe they have a customer that really likes their style of photography right. and they want to try it in a studio. And so the studio is for rent um, for guest photographers to come out and they will always have myself and one other employee completely dedicated to their shoot. So you wouldn't even have to know how to use the lighting. All you have to tell me is I need more light on the front of the car or I need this, that or the other thing. And then together we'll figure it out um, right. So what's your website? Uh, epic-exposure at uh, dot com. So epic-exposure dot com. Yes. So check it out if you're interested and you're in the uh, Seattle, Washington area. I drove up from Vancouver. It wasn't a bad drive at all. Only a couple hours. And uh, it's going to be awesome. I'll show you the photos. I'll show you what I tried to do. And then I'm going to show you what Alex did um, at the end of the video. All right, so this is Alex Johnson, and he's a photographer. And the, the group that, that I am involved in, and so is Alex, is Avance. And the, the motto of Avance is a drive everything. And so I really love the whole, the whole motto of the club, because it doesn't matter what you drive, drive everything. It doesn't matter if it's a four-wheel drive, if it's a Jeep, if it's a Mazda Miata. It doesn't matter what it is, drive everything. And I absolutely love the club. And it got put together, this whole photo shoot for the club, got put together by Alex and Bruce. Um, and who else was involved in it? Do you know? Oh, it was just Bruce and I. Oh, just these yeah. two guys. <laughs> and they offered it up. And it's super reasonable to bring your car up here and get it done in a professional studio that, that in Portland would cost thousands of dollars a day. I'm not kidding. I've checked it out. It's extremely expensive there. But where Bruce is and where he's got his studio and he built it himself, it's super, it's super everything. I mean, it works great. It's beautiful. It's laid out nicely. It's got everything you need. And so I want to talk to Alex just a minute and talk about his photography and plug if he's got Instagram. We'll do all of that. So uh, how long have you been shooting cars? About three years now. Yeah. Uh, I started in, uh, oh gosh, let's see, about May of 2017. And yeah. then someone told me about exotics at Redmond Town Center. So I started shooting photos at the parking lot there. And then I got introduced to Bruce's studio about two years ago, uh, almost to the day. Right. And so I just kept practicing and playing with it and keep growing. And, uh, you know, we were, Bruce and I were just talking and we said, hey, you know, let's try to do something that involves, you know, getting people out of the house, but still, you know, still under COVID regulations. And right. so now we've got studio days. So it's, uh, it's fantastic to see all the cars that's coming out here, especially the variety, uh, as you're saying with the Vaughns too. And yeah. so, yeah, it's a wonderful opportunity. So, right. Very cool. So you have Instagram. I do. Yes. So it's... let's plug your Instagram. So you can right. definitely, I'll definitely put it in the link below so you guys will be able to check it out. Uh, I don't do Instagram because it's, we'll talk about that in another video, uh, but uh, definitely check out Alex's work because he does a great, great job. <laughs> it is Alex underscore lens effect, effect with an A. So, All right. So look him up on, on Instagram. You have a website or anything? I do. It's okay. uh, lenseffect.com. So. Lenseffect.com. And that's with an A. Yep, exactly. With an A. <laughs> All right. So look that up and uh i'll show you the pictures and alex is going to send them to me when he will show them at the end of the video and i'll show you maybe one or two if mine came out at all all right thanks for watching guys